Isaiah chapter 57 The righteous perish, and no one takes it to heart. The devout are taken away, and no one understands. That the righteous are taken away to be spared from evil. Those who walk uprightly enter into peace. They find rest as they lie in death. But you, come here, you children of a sorceress, you offspring of adulterers and prostitutes. Whom are you mocking? At whom do you sneer and stick out your tongue? Are you not a brood of rebels and offspring of liars? You burn with lust among the oaks and under every spreading tree. You sacrifice your children in the ravines and under the overhanging crags. The idols among the smooth stones of the ravines are your portion. They, they are your lot. Yes, to them you have poured out drink offerings and offered grain offerings. In view of all this, should I relent? You have made your bed on a high and lofty hill. There you went up to offer your sacrifices. Behind your doors and your doorposts, you have put your pagan symbols. Forsaking me, you uncovered your bed. You climbed into it and opened it wide. You made a pact with those whose beds you love and you looked on their nakedness. You went to Moloch with olive oil and increased your perfumes. You sent your ambassadors far away. You descended to the very realm of the dead. You wearied yourself by such going about, but you would not say, it is hopeless. You found renewal of your strength, and so you did not faint. Whom have you so dreaded and feared that you have not been true to me and have neither remembered me nor taken this to heart? Is it not because I have long been silent that you do not fear me? I will expose your righteousness and your works and they will not benefit you. When you cry out for help, let your collection of idols save you. The wind will carry them all off a mere breath will blow them away. But whoever takes refuge in me will inherit the land and possess my holy mountain. And it will be said, Build up, build up, prepare the road, remove the obstacles out of the way of my people. For this is what the high and exalted one says, he who lives for ever, whose name is holy. I live in a high and holy place, but also with those who are contrite and lowly in spirit, to revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contrite. I will not accuse them for ever, nor will I always be angry, for then they would faint away because of me, the very people I have created. I was enraged by their sinful greed, I punished them and hid my face in anger, yet they kept on in their willful ways. I have seen their ways, but I will heal them. I will guide them and restore comfort to them, creating praise on the lips of the mourners in Israel. Peace, peace to those far and near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. But the wicked are like the tossing sea, which cannot rest, whose waves cast up mire and mud. There is no peace, says my God, for the wicked.